It's a brand new year, and that means a brand new crochet challenge for Warm Up America is among us. I'm so incredibly excited to finally reveal the blanket for the crochet challenge for Warm Up America in 2024. If you haven't heard of the crochet challenge for Warm Up America before, it's really simple. It's the annual crochet along that I host every single year, and it's just my absolute favorite. We have one project that hundreds of crocheters work on during a given amount of time, the challenge dates, and then they finish that project, send it to Warm Up America, and Warm Up America then delivers it to a person in need. And every single year we have a new project and we have a new organization or group of people that your challenge projects will be given to. Who are the blankets going to this year? The blankets this year are going to children's foster care um, organizations. There's one in California that we work with called My Stuffed Bags. And then we'll also send to other local um, foster organizations throughout the US. And then additionally, we'll probably send some as well to children's hospitals in the US. Now we've done a lot of really interesting and really beautiful blanket patterns in past challenges, but this one is completely unique. We've never done anything like this. I've never actually even designed anything like this before, and it was a lot of fun. So not only do we have some squares to this project, but we're also blending squares with rows and joining. And like, basically what that means is you have a project that has a little bit of a lot of things. So if you're the type of person who gets bored crocheting the same thing over and over, like, hello, that's me. I hate crocheting the same thing over and over. It drives me insane. This blanket is perfect for you because you get just a little taste of a lot of different techniques and I don't know, it feels like you're just crocheting something different all the time. It keeps it really interesting and really fun. And the techniques that you use, I think you can easily apply to future projects. This year, I thought that using Super Saver Ombre, it meets all the criteria, but the reason why I liked the Ombre version is because, well, it feels like you're getting more more colors to it. Does that make sense? Like, like the pink one, what is this color called? Jazzy. In Jazzy here, we have like a dark fuchsia and it goes to like, you know, a lighter pink color. This one is scuba. And we, you know, like it feels like you're getting more than just four colors. The main color yarn, I'm actually using eggshell, which, oh, by the way, is red heart with love. You can easily use with love, super saver, and then super saver ombre. Like they all kind of look and feel the same. They're all generally like close in price. Now I chose to go with four contrast colors and a main color for my blanket, but you don't have to do that. You can go with one contrast color and a main color or two contrast colors or three, four, five, six, whatever you wanna do. This is your blanket. Make it fun, make it unique, make it something that you love and that you enjoy. If you wanna get a head start on the challenge, it's a perfect time to go ahead and get your yarn ready for when the pattern releases. You can order directly on Amazon. You can generally walk into pretty much any craft store in your area and pick up these two yarns. And then my friends over at Red Heart have given us a discount code if you order directly from them. If you use code REDHEART15 at checkout, you'll get a 15% discount off of your entire order of regularly priced Red Heart yarns. It really doesn't matter how you get the yarn, just whatever works for you, but I will have some links in the description below. Now, if you can't find With Love or Super Saver Ombre, or you just wanna use some of the yarn that you already have on hand, or you wanna use a different yarn, something that's easier for you to, to find, maybe something that's more affordable or on sale, substitutions you can absolutely do, as long as it fits into a couple of different categories. First of all, it has to be a worsted weight or a number four yarn. That way you don't have to make adjustments to the pattern and it turns out the right size. The other thing Warm Up America requests is that it is a 100% acrylic yarn. That way we don't have to worry about any allergies. And they also request that it's a washable yarn. That way the person who receives it can care for it for many years. 
There are a handful of tools that you'll need to complete this challenge as well. Of course, you'll need a trusty crochet hook. I'm using a size four and a half millimeter, and that's a starting point. You don't have to use that hook size, and actually you shouldn't use that hook size if it doesn't give you the gauge in the pattern. You'll have the gauge information when the pattern is released, and you'll have all of that information on how you can adjust your hook size so you obtain the gauge. Basically, we want all of the blankets to be about the same size and making sure we nail our gauge and use the right hook size to achieve that, well, that's how we accomplish that. And if you're making a yarn substitution, you'll almost certainly have to double check your gauge to make sure it's the right size. You'll also need a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and some stitch markers. I really like these locking stitch markers. They work perfectly for, well, you'll see why later, but you don't have to have these. A bobby pin or a scrap piece of yarn will work just fine. So we do this challenge every single year, usually in January or February, and it's just the highlight of my year. Well, Warm of America was started in 1991 by a lady named, yeah. Evie Rosen, Evie Rosen, um, in Wisconsin, actually. She had a knitting shop. She was an amazing knitter. Um, and she was always making blankets um, for the homeless in her in her area. And she couldn't make them fast enough. She's like, what can we do? What can I do to, 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 to help make more blankets more quickly? So she came up with the seven by nine sections, which is kind of what Warm Up America is known for. I, sh I wish I had a sample here, but it's basically like a rectangle and it's a seven by nine, either knitted or crocheted. A lot of people call them squares. And she had people make the seven by nine sections and then started joining those into blankets. And she could make a lot more blankets for people in the area. And it's just bloomed and, and grown from there. Um, we get about 200,000 items per year um, that we send out all across the United States to children's hospitals, um, homeless shelters, senior care facilities, veteran homes, um, foster care, uh, you name it. It's it's just grown and grown and it continues to do so. And um, it all started with one person just wanting to give back. So it's, it's a pretty incredible story. It's just a really wonderful organization, Warm Up America is. If you haven't heard of them before, I'll have all of their information below. If you like to crochet, and donate the things that you make, then 100%, I would say, check them out. They always have a list of specific needs. Yeah, I'll include all of their details. So this year we're making a bright and fun, beautiful blanket for kids. It measures about 45 inches wide by 59 inches long. Now the biggest question on your mind right now is, can I even do this? You actually don't have to have a ton of experience to be able to make this. Some basics are really what I would say are the requirements. As long as you've finished some type of project before, you have a feel for how to hold the yarn and how to keep tension and the basics, then you'll be totally good to go. The day the challenge begins, you'll have access to the free pattern, online version, as well as a printable version that you can download completely for free. But I will also have a very detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. So if you're not comfortable reading patterns, no big deal. The tutorial will walk you through every step of the way. Now this challenge is for anybody who is up for a challenge, who has a little bit of time and who wants to create this project and give it to a child who will just absolutely adore it. The first thing you need to do is visit the challenge page. That's like your central hub. It has all of the information about the challenge and specifically what you need to know and do right now as you're waiting for the pattern release. So the challenge page currently has your yarn information, your supply info, a sheet for planning your color palettes. You can have all of that ready for when the pattern drops. I spent um, about two and a half weeks and I spent a few hours each day, well, just like Monday through Friday, on working on this blanket and I was able to finish it well within the like allotted time period that you'll have for the challenge. All you need to do to participate in the challenge is get the yarn, make the blanket, and send it to Warm Up America by the deadline. No formal signups required. So here's what you need to do right now. If the challenge is something that you're considering participating in, first of all, check out the challenge hub page, if you will. That's like your central 
place of information. It's got all of the details in this video, plus even more. Everything you need to know about the yarn, the supplies, the tools, the time frame, the dates, the shipping address, the Facebook information, like all of the information is on that page. I'll have it linked in the description below and I'll put it in a pinned comment because that's easier to find sometimes. And that's where I would say go first. From there, subscribe to the channel. That way when the tutorial drops, you'll know exactly when that happens and you can get started right away. Last year, we sent over 300 blankets to Warm Up America. And this year, uh, can we double that? That is my absolute goal. If we can get 600 blankets sent to Warm Up America, that's 600 children who will have one of these beautiful blankets that has your personal touch to it. So here's what I would ask. One, if you're gonna participate in this challenge, share this video with a friend and see if you can get a crochet buddy who will participate with you. If you're not able to, if you could maybe share this video and help it spread to other people, that would be a really, really big help as well. Thank you so much. Honestly, if you've made it this far, I know that you're really interested in this challenge and it will just mean the absolute world to me, to Warm Up America, to the child who receives your blanket, if you're able to dedicate a little bit of time over the next few weeks to completing this challenge. Thank you so much. Honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I know what I'm asking of you and your effort, your time, your sacrifices, they don't go unnoticed. But think about it this way. The blanket that you make is going to be a part of a child's life for so many years. And at a time when they might need it the absolute most, they're gonna have a beautiful blanket that was handmade by a complete stranger. And I can't even imagine how much that's gonna mean to them.